to an introduction to the Persian Empire. This is Miss Sangiuliano's best friend, Miss S. Two. Since Miss S. has no voice today, I will be reading your presentation. So let's begin! Back in 500 BC, as Sparta and Athens were growing stronger, Cyrus created the great Persian army. With this army, he conquered Mesopotamia, Syria, Judea, and Greek city-states in Anatolia. Cyrus allowed these areas to keep their religion, languages, and laws. After Cyrus, other Persians expanded the empire over Egypt, West India, and northeastern Greece. Royal Road made travel easier. It went throughout the empire and had rest stops like Chandragupta's roads in India. Here is a real map. Dark green is Cyrus. Light green is after, including Darius the First. Here are some notes. Pause if needed, a.k.a. pause here and write all of the things in yellow. Darius I reigned from 522 to 486 BC and reorganized the government to make it more efficient. He divided the empire into satraps, like states ruled by a satrap, who could collect taxes, judge legal cases, manage police, and recruit soldiers. By this time, Persia had a full-time army. Their biggest army reputation was for the immortals, 10,000 soldiers who were trained by the guard or to guard the king. The movie 300 took some liberties. The real one is on the left. Pause now and write all of the yellow sentences at this time. Persian religion. Zoroastrianism was the main Persian religion. They were monotheistic. They believe in one God, Ahura Mazda, or Wise Lord. They believe that evil exists, but people can always choose. Good always wins. The king was responsible to Ahura Mazda, meaning everything he did had to respond to their God. Pause now and write. Now, the part Miss S is grading. In a response on Edmodo, or on paper if you prefer, create a three-sentence essay. You have heard about Darius and Cyrus. In a three-sentence essay, claim, cite, clarify, which Persian leader made the biggest contribution? Claim, state which one in a sentence. Cite, where did it say that? What information gives you that? Clarify. Why is this important? And what does this all mean? Remember to submit this online or in paper to Miss S. Thank you for listening to this presentation with Miss S number two. Have a great day.